Okay, so let us uh, continue along. Uh, we'll take one more example, and this is for um, uh, the rate 1 over n repetition code. Um, and so we are going to see what uh, the parity and the uh, generator matrices are going to look like. Now, uh, for the uh, well, let us look at the generator matrix for the repetition code because it is probably easier to understand. Um, uh, the, for the repetition code, the G matrix now is, is just a vector of all ones uh, of size uh, n cross 1, n cross k, but k is equal to 1, remember, for the repetition code, k is equal to 1. And so, G is nothing but a tall vector of all ones. Now, because k is equal to 1, uh, our vector m, uh, this vector m, is nothing but just one bit. It can be 0 or 1, but it's just 1 cross 1. This G is n cross 1, and it's all ones. And so what happens is when you, when you multiply uh, G with m, you just get C which is uh, n replicas of M. If M is 0, then at C you get n zeros. If M is 1, then for C you get a uh, total of n ones. So, uh, the generator matrix G for, uh, for the repetition code is pretty, pretty simple. Uh, all that it does is it, it ensures that the product G times M has the single message bit M uh, getting replicated n times. Now, think of uh, the parity check matrix for, um, for, for this repetition code. Uh, now, it turns out that the parity check matrix, uh, it has one column at the very beginning which is full of ones. It's a, a tall vector of all ones and the size of the vector is u cross 1. Remember u is the number of parity bits that the encoder introduces. In this case u is equal to n minus 1 because in repetition code one bit is repeated n times so extra bits that are introduced are n minus 1. And so here in H matrix the first column is all ones and there are a total of n minus 1 such ones and after this column then we have our identity matrix of size u cross u now th with this h matrix uh, when you do the product uh, h times c then what happens is that there will be total of n minus 1 uh, checks that uh, that you will be performing in h times c uh, because h has u rows remember size of h is u cross n and, and because h has u rows uh, you will be performing total of n minus 1 checks and each check will be performed by one row of this H matrix. Now what check will that row perform? It will take the original message bit which, which is happening, uh, which is occurring at the first location and it will add it to a bit corresponding to the one of this identity matrix. And that sum H times C it will check that it is zero. So that is what uh, that operation is going to do. Um, essentially, this uh, parity check matrix is going to make sure that the modulo two sum of the first bit, which is the message bit, and each of the n minus one uh, parity bits is zero which is how it has to be because uh, because we are replicating each bit uh, we, are, we are replicating the message bit 
n minus 1 times and, and so the first bit and any of the other bits cannot be not equal which is simply what this edge matrix ensures now uh, the, for, for, for you to get a good handle on this uh, two examples that we have given, uh, you should practice yourself uh, uh, using a paper and a pencil, um, the G and H matrix for some simple SPC and repetition course. Maybe you can take uh, N to be 5 and in case of SPC you can make K to be 4 and U to be 1. In case of Repetition code, you make n to be 5, k equal to 1, and u equal to uh, 4. And, and do, do some such simple examples, and you'll get a feel of uh, why G and H matrices are the way they are uh, for, for the SPC and the repetition codes. Also, there is one uh, interesting duality between G and H matrices. If you look at uh, this H matrix for the parity check code, uh, which has vector vector full of ones and then the identity matrix it looks a lot like the H mat uh, G matrix for the uh, it looks a lot like G matrix for the SPC code this also has identity matrix and uh, uh, a vector of ones on the other hand, if you look at H matrix for the SPC code, it looks a lot like the G matrix for the repetition code. Uh, both are just as simple vectors full of ones. So in some fundamental sense, we can say that SPC and repetition codes are kind of duals of each other. You can make uh, G matrix for one and almost kind of use it directly as H matrix for the other and and vice versa. So this uh, duality between codes is, is, a, is an important uh, topic. Uh, we won't get too much into it but um, it is something that um, is quite an interesting observation that we start making when we look at the channel coding uh, operation as uh, essentially uh, following the linear algebra math. Okay, we will uh, take now one one another uh, channel coding scheme, and and this is known as uh, the product code. Uh, and specifically in this case, it's a square product code. Uh, and the reason it is that because here the number of information bits that get encoded is a perfect square so it's either 4 or 9 or 16 etc and the representation for n turns out to be square root of k plus 1 whole squared uh, why it is like that is something we will see shortly um, uh, when we look at the encoding method which is summarized here uh, the encoding of product code uh, occurs like this so, so first you create a square matrix of size square root k times square root of k and then you put k information bits uh, in this uh, square array because the size is square root time k times square root of k obviously it will have a total of k element k uh, elements and you populate those elements with the information bits that you have received at the input to the encoder. Now you go row by row on this square matrix and you put a parity bit, parity bit on each row. Basically you encode each row using an SPC. And then same way you go column by column and you put a uh, parity bit on each column. And then the result is a uh, total of n bits. Uh, basically, you added one column, extra one column, and extra one row. And so, because of that, the size of the encoded bits becomes square root of k plus 1 whole squared. So, the best way to understand this operation of 
uh, product encoder is to look at this in, in a visual manner. In this case, it's a k equal to 4, n equal to 9 product code. Uh, it introduces 5 parity bits, and the rate is 4 over 9. Uh, essentially, there are 4 bits, so you create a square array of size 2 cross 2, and you populate uh, this array with the message bits in the manner shown here, m1, m2, m3, m4. And then you encode each row with an SPC and so you get P1 and P2. And similarly you encode each column with an SPC. Uh, so you get uh, P3 and P4. Uh, and then you can even encode this parity bits using a, another parity. It's like parity of, on top of parity and you get the fifth parity bit uh, which is sum of p1 plus p2. Uh, remember all of this additions are modulo 2. I, I have not explicitly mentioned that here but as we have noted earlier that is to be understood. Now what I ask you to do uh, is that you determine the generator matrix G. Remember G will have size of n cross 4. Why? because there are four message bits k is equal to 4 and n is equal to 9 so g will have size of 9 cross 4 and you are also asked to determine the parity check matrix which in this case obviously will have size 5 cross 9 uh, 5 because there are a total of 5 parity checks p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 uh, and 9 because there are 9 uh, encoded bits represented in this bigger outer square matrix. Okay, so uh, let us pause here and we'll come back.